Hey, what's going on guys? Eli Martyr here. Thank you so much again for joining me here on the Free Melon Society. Today's a good day. Today I'm making a tutorial video for how to run in the quadruped fashion, in the quadruped style, how to run on all fours. I, I put up a video a while ago that was kind of just a submission for a film that I was working on. I was working on Planet of the Apes and so I put together just some footage of animal movement and yeah, everyone really liked it had a lot of comments asking me, can you please do a tutorial? Can you please do a tutorial? I wanna learn how to do this. So finally I got around to doing it. So today we're gonna to show you how to move on all fours, how to do the quadruped run. So first thing we're gonna do is we need to start from just the very basics, just go very, very simply. So what you wanna start off by doing, and you know, maybe I should say first, the way myself and both my brother learned how to do this is we just watched a lot of animal documentaries and your kids growing up. If you wanna get the idea, you can watch either a horse run or a wolf or a cheetah or a dog or a greyhound. These are all good, good references. Uh, a horse is probably one of the best examples. So watch some videos of horses running in slow motion. I'll, I'll add a couple in this video as well. There's some key differences because obviously we're not quadrupeds. So it, it's not gonna be exactly like an animal runs, but we're just, just gonna make do. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is you want to be able to, with two feet together, reach out to the ground in front of you, place your hands on the ground and then pull your feet up. Okay, that's it. That's the first, that's the first task. Okay, so forward and then bring your feet up. Okay, forward, feet up, forward, feet up. Okay, that's the first thing you got to do. If I'm going to do that as a drill, I'm going to start here and then just do a couple, couple lengths, right? So one, two, one, two, okay, just like that. Yeah. As you get better at it, the more distance you can cover with your legs. So if you can get a full, full extension on your legs and reach, right? That always looks nice. Okay. So just get comfortable. Just get comfortable doing that. Now, once you're comfortable doing that, really the only, the only change you're going to make is that instead of landing with both your hands at the same time and both your feet at the same time, you're going to slightly splay them, slightly stagger your hands and your feet. So if I'm here, okay, instead of doing this, I'm just going to open up my legs a little bit and I prefer right, left. Do I? Did I just lie to you? How do I do this? Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> I doubted myself for a second. So you're going to open up your legs just a little bit. For me, it's right, left. And then with my hands, it's also right, left. So it turns into the same type of deal as before, where we're hopping with both, both hands together, except this time I'm a bit staggered. So if I were just learning this, it would look like this. Okay, I'm doing the same thing, just hopping forward. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Now, the only difference between that and a full run would just be to lengthen out your body and maybe splay a bit longer. So have a bit more of a stagger in your arms and in your legs, and you're looking for a, a cadence of da 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 da. So for me, that's right, left, right, left. And then I pull my legs through and they come to the top again. Right, left, right, left. Pull my legs through. Right, left, right, left. Okay. And on and on it goes. That's pretty much the key to doing this, is just doing this exact same drill, but, but with a little bit of a stagger. And then you end up doing what looks like the quadruped run. Now, what I'll say is, if you watch different animals doing this, you're gonna notice some slight differences. So if you watch a horse, for example, you'll find a lot of them do exactly that. They have a 
right left right left pattern or a left right left right pattern okay you'll see that some some uh some animals when they run it's switched so if they go right left then they'll go left right on the front hands or vice versa it's it seems to be as variable as humans with some of us being right-handed some of us being left-handed that kind of thing so you will find that difference but what you will always find is that they're they're doing the staggered approach right they're always they're never running ba 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 they're always doing this very very nice and elegant splayed out type of type of movement okay with your hips the lower you can get your hips the better it'll look. So if your hips are way out, up in the air like this, you know, you can still do it. It just looks less, less like the effect that we're going for. So you want ideally your hips to be as low as possible. Now we're human beings, so we don't have the anatomical structure to run like animals. Okay, so deal with it. <laughs> You're always gonna have your hips slightly elevated. You'll never be able to run literally like a cheetah because you are not a cheetah so you're always going to have a little bit of that hips above your shoulders but generally speaking the lower you have your hips the, the better the move will look okay sorts of variations you can play around in your arms and legs um, just just walking just different types of movements like this whoops I just stepped on my microphone uh, so yeah just playing around like this going from side to side all these really slow types of deliberate movements these these all help to gain that that kind of uh, the strength and the agility in your joints and in your in your body to be able to do this well if you want to canter like a horse or or a trot i should say you're looking at opposite hand opposite leg so if i take my right hand and my left foot i should be able to balance okay on my right hand and my left foot and then from there i take a bit of a a, a pound or a, a bound i should say here and then switch and you'll, you'll see dogs you'll see you'll see any quadruped really moving moving like this right and that's a good exercise um, and yeah it's a good way to kind of get that familiarity without going full speed if you've got sensitive wrists or you've got wrist problems and you just want to kind of get a feel for this then that's a good place to start okay guys yeah so that's that's pretty much it start with feet together and arms together well not completely together but you know what i mean hitting the ground at the same time start with that and then as you get better with it just open up your hands a little bit open up your feet a little bit and then you're looking for that da 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 that kind of cadence right left right left or if you're comfortable maybe if one of your parents was a cheetah or something I don't I don't know maybe it is more comfortable for you to go right left left right or left right right left and 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 um, uh, have the opposite cadence maybe that's more comfortable for you for me I find it's either right left right left or left right left right that's up for you to decide. Go out and play with it and have fun. But it's an amazing workout. You, your quads will be so sore if you do this. You know what, I, I want you to go for three minutes, set your watch for three minutes, or your timer or whatever, I don't know, I'm old school, Christ. Um, set a timer for three minutes and then just do that canter. Right? Not even the full run, just that canter for three minutes. Right? It's a great exercise, it works everything. So on top of being, uh, excuse me, on top of being an amazing workout, 
an amazing workout. It's, uh, it's challenging and you're gonna get mobility, flexibility and strength all in the same on the same deal and it's a lot of fun. So thanks a lot guys. All right, hope you, um, uh, hope you subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, then make sure to subscribe to the Female in Society. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found this helpful and you, and you like what I'm putting out. And yeah, that's about it guys. Okay, have fun. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.